Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Today is angry day. <laughs> a lot of people are angry because of the reset that the devs did, <laughs> including me personally, okay? But today, I want to showcase to you guys the different job advancements for Cleric. So if you want to know what are different types of job advancement and how they work, we are going to tackle that today. Without further ado, let's go! Okay, so here is the point, okay? I don't see the real point, honestly, okay? Um, right now, we have several job advancements here as a cleric. You can either be uh, a guardian, as a crusader, a saint, or an inquisitor, all right? So what we're gonna do today is we're not just going to read on these, um, you know, on these, uh, uh, on these uh, skills. We're actually going to try and see what they, it, uh, what they are, okay? Sorry. Um, right now, you see, uh, one of the things that, uh, that we don't know are, you know, not just the effects of the skills specifically, okay? Uh, we want to try and see how they look, how they perform, and before the actual reset happened last night, which suck, which you know, which which sucks. Um, before the actual reset happened last night, I was actually able to unlock all of these jobs already. Okay, I was able to unlock all of them. So right now, we're gonna try and see for the purposes of this video. Video, we're going to try and unlock all four of them again today okay i do i am going to play some clips though because um i did a little comparison between the jobs uh the job advancements guardian crusader saint and inquisitor against hagen 3 okay against hagen 3 why because you know I, I had to make the video real quick i couldn't do pvp much because uh no one is really queuing up for pvp um, against Hagen 3 and I'm gonna play some clips about that as we discuss things all right so let's go ahead and do this now for Guardian okay uh, by the way I already presented um, a job advancement guide uh, I'll put the link down below if you haven't seen it yet if you don't have any idea how to advance your job yet I'll put the link down below so that you can you know see it too you need to watch that video first before watching this okay now this video is about if you haven't decided yet on what job to take in, so yeah, this video is for you. All right, <laughs> let's get on to this, okay? Let's try Guardian and let's try and advance the job Guardian. We're going to spend some diamonds here. There we go. So um, we're processing Guardian right now. And from Inquisitor, you know, I was an Inquisitor. We're going to change it to Guardian, okay? Now, the thing about Guardian, let's take a look at there's, uh, the Guardian skills, okay? We're going to go ahead and reset our skills too so that we can unlock the Guardian skills, alright? Uh, we have here Shield Blow, we have uh, Holy Impact and Shield Blow, okay? Guardian supposedly are the uh, the tanks, the super tanks, okay? Where's, where's the Shield Blow here? Shield Blow is, uh, here we are, okay? We're going to max out the Shield Blow so that we can unlock the, uh, you know, the the extreme skill of shield blow and of course uh, holy impact we're gonna max out holy impact uh, at the same time okay I'm gonna max it out there you go and next is uh, the one that we can uh, we can unlock because we obviously can't unlock these uh, these three yet um, because uh, they're, they're still at level 80 level 75 so next is um, armor break <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and max the armor break so we can unlock it Okay, there we go. Now, let's take a look at these skills one for one, okay? So let's unlock this. Let's compare armor break before. How does armor break work? Look at this. So this is what armor break does before, okay? Pretty, you know, pretty simple, okay? Attacking in the front of the shield plus 80% uh, 80 attack and, you know, 2,364. Um, if we unlock this, armor break will have an extended hit. Uh, meaning, what it means basically is that it will add an additional hit, okay? Uh, let's try and open this. Okay, there you go. Look at the effect, look at the impact. There's an additional hit after he actually blows it. I mean, after after the shield blow, okay? So shield blow here, uh, let me see. 
that's 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 the EX shield blow already. Okay, so let's try the other one. Uh, let's try Holy Impact and what its effect is. Okay, Holy Impact is uh, like this right now. Okay, so pulls enemy nearby targets with a holy power and it creates damage. Okay, if we unlock the enhanced version of that, since you're a guardian. Boom, look at that, it adds a lot of range. It's definitely wider. What it means is that you can definitely pull enemies wider, okay? Now, last but not least, let's try Armor Break here, the Armor Break skill, okay? Let's see. Okay, that's the normal Armor Break. Dashes in front and shortly strikes down the target to knock it off, okay? So, let's try and uh, enhance Armor Break. Look at that, look at the effects. Boom, that's definitely, that's definitely a big burst. Okay, this is definitely a burst damage, look at that. And it adds knockdown and the range is higher, supposedly. That's the armor break. Now, the thing with the Guardian, okay. Now, I played the Guardian before because I've reset all of these. I've actually unlocked all of these jobs already. I played Guardian before and it compared it in Hagen 3. Uh, and uh, you know some some PvP. I'm gonna play some cli uh, clips right now. The thing with the Guardian is Guardians are pretty tanky supposedly. Their main weapon is a mace, okay? And essentially the Guardian, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's good in one-on-one -on -one battles. Guardians are one of the the toughest uh, the toughest characters and the toughest job advancement in during one-on-one -on -one battles. Um, they're pretty tough with uh, uh, with armor break and the effects and uh, you know, they're basically a tank still. Okay, well the clerics are a tank in general, but guardians are the advanced enhanced tank. Okay, guardians for me play a very defensive role. Okay, uh, the only thing that uh, I don't like about being guardian is that you have to keep you know you have to keep well, clerics always do this uh, also. The thing about guardians is that you have to keep uh, uh, chasing your enemies and uh, it's really hard with the kind of skills that you have because there's uh, there's somewhat a one second difference before it actually happens like for example this one uh, like for example the armor break see there's a one second delay before it actually happens however the guardian delivers huge burst okay so it's burst damage for guardian and that's mainly the specialty of guardian it's defense burst and knockdown okay defense burst and knockdown not a lot of knockdown skills but uh definitely uh there he has one knockdown skill which is armor break and it's an aoe knockdown which is pretty good okay now let's move on let's move on to crusader here let's try and see if we can unlock crusader and change jobs right now there we go so from guardian we are now becoming a crusader okay and let's try and reset the skills so that we can unlock the Crusader skills. All right. So let's do direct kick. Okay, direct kick should be uh, here. All right. So that's direct kick. And what else? We got divine combo. Divine combo is here. So this is a Crusader skill. Okay. And uh, shield charge. Shield charge is this one. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, let's compare the skill before, okay, which is direct kick. Okay, direct kick. Okay, that's direct kick, man, okay. That's a direct kick before, and let's compare it now and unlock it. Look at that, it adds range and it adds hit. Boom. It adds one more hit. I think you, you get hit by three. Okay, let's compare divine combo. Divine combo is like this. So it's a one-two punch, basically one, two, and there's your um, description. So if we unlock the extended divine combo or extreme divine combo, let's go see. So there's three already, so okay. Perform three combo, it's one, two, three. But where before, where the, the not extended ones, just two, one, two, three, there we go. And it has lift, okay. It gives the last blow, it lifts the last blow lift the enemy in the air in the last home okay I'm sorry okay last but not least that we can unlock is shield charge okay 
Let's try and see the regular see, shield charge here. Charges with shield and knocks the target down 250%, okay, and knocks it down. What about the enhanced shield charge? What about it, okay? Put your shield forward and charge to push down enemies. Okay, knock the target down too. It has increased range, okay? Now, the thing about Crusader is, uh, again, I've used all these jobs before um, under Hagen 3 and some PvP, okay? Crusaders, in my opinion, are better than Guardians because they offer burst and DPS all at the same time. Although Guardians can be pretty tanky because of their disables, uh, because of their knockdown. Uh, a Crusader also has uh, a knockdown actually. Actually, it has two knockdowns. You get the shield charge, which pushes the enemy down. And of course, you get the divine combo that lifts enemy up. So it has two disables and um, uh, essentially the Crusader is burst and DPS. Whereas for Guardian, I think, you know, if you play Guardian, you mainly need to focus on burst, I think. Uh, when to strike. If you're a Guardian, you need to know when to strike your enemy and when you burst them, basically, okay? Uh, for Crusaders, I think you can be on the front line and break the enemy lines and, you know, just burst and DPS them all the way, okay? <laughs> burst and DPS them. Okay, let's go to the next job, which is the Saint. Let's go and advance for Saint here. Oh my god, I lock red diamonds. Crap. <clears throat> I thought I added uh, enough already. Okay, let's add some red diamonds here. Okay, let's go back to the job. Uh, then uh, let's advance to a saint. All right. So, here we go. So, from Crusader, we are now a saint. We are now switching to the wand users. Okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and reset our skills here, okay? So that we can unlock the same skills, okay? So we got uh, Lightning Strike. So let's do Lightning Strike, okay? Gotta max that out. And we got, what else? Uh, Holy Bolt. We got Holy Bolt, let's max that out, okay? And of course, uh, Lightning Storm in the chain, okay? Lightning storm. Okay, there we go. So let's try and compare now the saint. All right. Uh, lightning strike is this one. Okay. So you basically hit the enemy up in the air and you strike him with lightning. The thing about this skill is I used to love this skill very much, but it needs a lot of timing uh, because uh, there's a one or two se one second delay for this skill. Okay. So let's try and check what lightning strike looks like on the extended version. Whoa, definitely bigger range. It adds a lot of range and it has bigger impact, I'm assuming, okay? So next is uh, Holy Bolt. This is the, the regular Holy Bolt, okay? Just uh, slow enemy down, okay? Let's try and unlock Holy Bolt here. Definitely bigger range, okay? Not much, but there's definitely bigger range and bigger attack for Holy Bolt. Okay, that's your Holy Bolt now if you become a saint. Uh, what else? Last but not least, the chain. This is uh, uh, the chain skill for the saint. It's a lightning storm. This is the lightning storm where it uh, makes people go airborne. Okay, this is the regular lightning storm. Uh, let's unlock the extreme lightning storm. There we go. The range, there's definitely a plus in the range and the pull. Okay, and your effect is definitely bigger in range. So, yeah. Uh, his ultimate would be Sacred Relic, uh, but of course you can unlock that at level 100, so we can't unlock that yet for now. Now, I played the Saint also. Um, the Saint is kinda, kinda so-so for me, okay? I'm not sure why they called it Saint, because I was uh, expecting there would be a lot of heal, a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, healing, and a lot of recovery for, for the Saint, but, uh, you know, they, they didn't add that. Actually, they, the Saint is not a Thunder user, not a Holy user. Well, they said the Saint is a Holy user, but I used the Saint against Hagen, and I had a pretty tough time um, with Hagen 3, finishing Hagen 3. Maybe it's because my equipments were not built for it. Uh, but, you know, you have to consider that the, the main damaging skill of the Saint is actually just Lightning Storm EX. Uh, when I hit Lightning Storm EX on Hagen, that's the time that his bar really shrinks big time, okay? But, you know, Lightning, uh, Light, Lightning Storm EX, EX uh, uh, and, uh, but when I do Lightning Strike or Holy Bolt, 
Uh, there's no significant damage actually for you know for that. Well, all in all, I was I was disappointed with the Saint because I was expecting more uh, healing and more you know support type of role for the Saint. Okay, so yeah, I was kind of disappointed with that. So last but not least is the Inquisitor, but we don't have diamonds already, so we have to add some diamonds here. Okay. Now, um, if you compare though the Saint, uh, the Guardian, and the Crusader, uh, so far for me, I I go for Crusader if you compare the three only. Okay. Because uh, the Crusader basically has can dish out a ton of damage because it has DPS and it it has burst. And it can, you know, it can rely itself on the front line. The Saint is somewhat uh, kind of so-so for me, okay? So, well, I'm not sure what the devs were thinking when they put the Saint up there, okay? Anyway, let's go ahead to the next job. And last but not least is uh, my choice of job, uh, essentially. Is in, and I'll tell you why later on. Inquisitor. Let's, let's change from Saint to Inquisitor, okay? So here we are, we are still advancing as a wand user, we are now a wand user, okay, and let's check the skills of the Inquisitor, so we have Charge Bolt, and of course my favorite Lightning Relic, let's see, Charge Bolt, uh, Charge Bolt, he plays up to 70, and Lightning Relic, put it up to 70, and of course, uh, one more is uh, Lightning Zap, I've unlocked Lightning Zap already, Lightning Zap, there we go. So let's try and compare right now. I'm, I'm gonna show you here. This is the charge bolt before. Okay, this is the charge bolt before. Uh, this charge lightning. Now let's try and see and unlock the charge bolt. I have unlocked that. Look at that. So that's the charge bolt now. It adds diffusion to it. Okay, which adds more AOE damage. Okay. So what was the charge bolt? Uh, a lightning relic is like this before. Okay, it's kind of small, but. Um, Okay, now it's bugged. <laughs> okay, now this is Lightning Relic now, which is bigger, okay? And Lightning Zap, last but not least. Uh, there's Lightning Zap, and now there, okay. It has bigger range and summon time. Now, all in all, um, I like the Inquisitor because I tried the Inquisitor over at Hagen Tree, and uh, you know, it's, it's normal for me. I, I, I still dish out a ton of damage, and uh, at the same time, I can move around. Uh, specifically, of all the four jobs, um, I w I'm, I'm picking Inquisitor right now just because the Inquisitor has a lot of stun and shock, okay? And I think the Inquisitor gives you more uh, maneuverability in the, in the battlefield, especially during Guild War. You don't want to be, for me personally, although I'm a tank, but I don't want to be, I hate being in the front line. Okay, uh, at the end of the day, when you do PvP or Guild War, at the end of the day, it's all about if you can handle the disable and the silence of these slayers and, you know, academics and all the other jobs. Um, so for me, um, I prefer Inquisitor because his skills is AoE, so in the battlefield, we can do, we can just, you know, I can just drop the wand, I can do AoE burst and defusal. And I still do DPS. Uh, the same, uh, the, the the Inquisitor doesn't have burst much, okay, except for his chain skill here, lightning zap. Uh, but essentially, uh, I you know I, I'm into him because I've used all four. Uh, you know, it's really up to your game style and your personality. Also, I really believe that if you're a hardcore gamer, it's up to you what type of uh, character do you want and what personal personality do you have. Okay, and I think that uh, that really, really matters most, okay? For some questions here, I've had a question before. Hey, what happens to my second weapon or my uh, sub-weapon? Well, FYI, you can still change to your sub-weapons or main weapon, okay? So, for example, if you're an Inquisitor, I can still change to a mace, but of course, my, uh, my skill points would be more focused on the wand, so I would hit more. Um, with the wand rather than with the maze, okay? All in all, it all boils down to how you play your game and how you build your character. As for me, I'm sticking with Inquisitor because I want to be the god of thunder. <laughs> I want to thunder out this coronavirus going on, okay? Anyway, I hope this guide has helped you guys. And uh, by the way, shout out to Xyumi and the infamous guild in a different server. There's another infamous guild there. 
uh, but X Yumi, my number one fan. I love X Yumi, and uh, uh, thanks for uh, uh, thank you guys also for continuing to watch and follow my videos. I hope I will be able to make more videos soon that will really help you in your gameplay, and I hope you are not discouraged. <laughs> with what has been happening with the devs. I know the devs are crazy, okay? But, uh, you know, let's give them a chance. They're human too, all right? And uh, as usual, um, I'll see you guys on the next guide. Stay safe, be merry, stay in World of Dragon S. Bye, guys. Ciao for now. Bye.